Next we're going to wire up the air handler. The air handler is that unit right up there. And it's a 250 volt single phase and I believe max fuse size on it's 15 amps. It's not requiring for it to be fused so I'm just going to put a, a two pole switch in there for now. So I'll go ahead and get started on that. Got that air handler wired up. So let's go up and take a look at it. Here we have the two pole switch. That will be the disconnect, serve as the disconnect for the air handler. It's a 250 volt air handler. And here we'll have a switch going up to a light, which is a service light, and then an outlet, which is a service outlet for the air handler. There's my light box up there. We'll put a keyless fixture up there. What we did was, uh, what I did, was came into the bottom of that, made up my connections. We've got a quick disconnect in there for the service guys, but we still have an exterior disconnect. And really, that's a... Uh, that's about it. Take a look in there. That'll tell you where to land your wires at. You can see where it says black and yellow. And then the ground is right down there. In the back you can see the ground. Like I said, the nomenclature on the outside of the cover said it was uh, max overcurrent protection, 15 amps. So I will put it on a 15 amp breaker. It's not required for fuses. So when this all gets done, this is all part of getting a wall inspection because it's actually above the ceiling and the sheetrock's got to go in and the inspectors don't want to climb up here. So that's pretty simple on this one.